Hey guys, hope you're doing all right. Thanks for stopping by. Today's gonna be a quick video. We're actually just doing some uh, fish movement down here in the fish room. And I thought I'd show you what we're doing real quick. So what we have here is one of the 125s. And this one has, the main inhabitants are these gold severums. What I also have in here are these two fish. And these are the fish that are gonna be moved today. And these fish, are albino giant garamis. Now they've been in here just grown up a little bit from babies. I picked these guys up at the Aquashella in Chicago. Now they're going to be moved into a much bigger tank. They're going to go into the 650 gallon we have right over here. Now this is a plywood tank that I built some time ago. I'll probably do a video on it eventually, outlining its construction and whatnot. But in here I have, you know, a few bala sharks, some silver dollars. I have a fire eel, a massive fire eel that I absolutely love. But this will be the home for the two giant garamis. Um, I don't plan on keeping both. Eventually I will rehome one of them to someone with a suitably large aquarium. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with giant garamis, you will know that these guys get massive. They can get up to 28, 30 inches in nature. Uh, you know, most reports of them in aquaria, you know, peg it around 20 to 24 inches in length. But that's just length. These guys get bulky. They get tall. They get wide. They are a big fish, and you should never buy one if you don't have a suitably large tank. I am pretty confident that the 650 gallon will be good enough for them for, for a little while. And we also have plans in the works to get them an even larger tank. So be on the lookout for that video. Uh, let's go ahead and net these guys and move them over though. Okay, we got the two giant garamis in a little container here. And we can just let this float in the new tank and uh, give it 15, maybe 20 minutes for them to temperature acclimate, and then we'll release them. Okay, these garamis have been acclimating for about 20 minutes now. They should be good to go. Water temperature should be, uh, you know, they should be used to the water temperature now. So let's go ahead and uh, let them out. Yeah, I think he'll, I think he's happy. The other one kind of scurried off. They'll find a spot to hide out for a little while and then they'll get kind of used to their new surroundings. Like I said, this tank will be good for a while, but definitely don't buy a giant garami if you can't house it and they need big tanks. So just a word of warning there. But if you can house them, I mean, these guys are these guys are awesome. They're so cool. I've seen uh, a couple of them full grown, and they are just some of the coolest fish to have. Well, hey, thanks guys for watching. You know, step by, stop by next week. Uh, hope to see you again.